Blockchain's exciting on a number of fronts. One of my particular interests is tokenomics. And tokenomics is really creating economic games using real money, real value, to economically reward the behavior we want and penalize the behavior we don't want. So for example, drug companies that do, uh, that do trials often hide their data. It's not that hard to hide your data. But in, with blockchain, we can make sure that every piece of data goes onto the blockchain and can't be hidden. It's got to stay there and that there can be an economic penalty for trying to tamper with it or for not recording the data on the blockchain, for example. We can also create betting markets that help us predict prices and events in the future using coins that represent real value. One of the new uh, areas here is called token curated registries which will keep us from having fake news and spam and fake product reviews on Amazon, on, on TripAdvisor, on all these, you know, there's product reviews everywhere, but there's no penalty for putting up a bad review on one of your competitor's products or a glowing, amazing review that's not true on your own product. But with token curated registries, everyone will have an economic interest in, in telling the truth. And this is just one way tokenomics is going to change the world. Um, something that I've struggled with most of my life was digital payments. So I've, I've moved from home when I was 16 and you know, you go from um, Romanian currency to, to US dollars and you have to convert them and then you have to find specific ATMs to be able to withdraw it. And then if you want to send money back home, it's this other like very complicated process. And say they want to take a trip to France and they have a different currency where back then they did. And you know, at least in the payments world, I really think that blockchain or digital currencies could completely reinvent the way we travel, the way we, we send money to the loved ones, the way we, we send money to our friends for, I don't know, a night out or for Uber or whatever, you know? And um, I think that's just really one small part that I could personally identify with, but think of the bigger ones that blockchain could absolutely destroy. So for example, Romania is a very corrupt country and the reason why is because there's a complete lack of transparency and this is what blockchain is trying to solve. It's trying to give us transparency to where maybe your tax dollars are going, where tax euros are going, right? So imagine if you had access to see from every single um, euro or dollar or pound that you pay, you're able to see to watch it through the funnel as it reaches the end goal that it's supposed to reach, whether it's infrastructure or healthcare or schools, etc. So those are just a few that I think that blockchain can ha has absolute potential to destroy and disrupt, as we say in this industry. But um, I do think that is the only solution that I see in the near future that could could um, create a better future for for our friends and family and loved ones. Blockchain can do anything. Blockchain has the ability to touch so many different areas of lives in the world, improve lives, improve the way that we transact improve the way that we share, and bring economic prosperity to the masses of the world that don't have that right now. There's a huge opportunity of addressing the imbalances of the world. So I'm an extremely pro blockchain, public blockchain, and its use cases, getting into the uh, unbanked world and also getting into improving how data is stored and consumed across the world. How I feel that blockchain is really going to affect the future is that blockchain is going to do for transactions what the internet did for information. And once you start understanding the technology, you can really see the huge impact it's going to have on the world. This world is going to be a completely different place in 10 years, 20 years from now because of this tech. Uh, some specific examples that I'm quite excited about from a finance perspective is I think it could be the end of audit. Um, for example, if two companies have agreed a transaction and they've agreed the accounting treatment, if it's being recorded in both sides, you no longer need a third party such as an auditor to be able to review the transactions. And this will also create a lot more trust between companies. Um, a big area where a lot of work goes into from an administrative perspective is in terms of liquidity. Um, how do you know your supplier is going to pay you? How do you know that, I guess, you can pay people on time? Using the blockchain, you could, I guess, lock in these payments for a future period of time 
and they'll know that no matter what happens that this payment's going to go through. So you can instantly create trust between organizations, uh, which is quite exciting as well. And the applications for this are endless and they go on and on. Um, I think we're going to see real change. It's exciting. So another economic game is actually embodied in the blockchains themselves. So if you think about the Bitcoin blockchain, it's a set of rules that requires participants to act in the best interest of the blockchain. It, the more participants there are, the more it protects and secures the data in the blockchain. It makes it more immutable. And the more people play this game, the more valuable Bitcoins become. So it's a closed ecosystem with its own coin that started at zero, didn't, wasn't worth anything in the first couple of days, but rewards the right behavior that creates the value of the whole economy. And that kind of reward system can be used in, in many applications where we're trying to secure something through many people who don't trust each other. That's the magic of the blockchain is no one trusts anybody and yet they all work together as a common community. So for example, people talk about how expensive Bitcoin is and how much energy is being used. But think about the amount of energy we expend today to secure the dollar, to make sure that the dollar is protected. We have heavy trucks, men with guns, buildings, vaults, tremendous amount of energy spent on uh, anti-terrorism, money laundering, and cybersecurity to make sure that the dollar stays the dollar and doesn't get counterfeited, right? So it's actually a lot of energy. This is a brand new concept, but imagine that the entire population of a country is they're all mining on their phones all the time. That right here on your phone, you are securing the currency of your country. Now we don't actually, we can do all that with software and with an economic game that actually rewards everyone for doing that. And we can get away from all those vaults and heavy buildings and, our, and people with guns and, and cyber terrorists. Uh, an open source, phone-based, what we call proof of stake or similar mining program that doesn't waste a lot of energy is exactly the kind of tokenized game that we could use to recast the dollar in a new tokenized uh, form and it will be better, faster and cheaper all the way around. There's many, many things we could do with that tokenized dollar and every member of society could just be a, a natural actor in that system who would then protect and secure that infrastructure. It's only every, every generation that you have a, a revolution that is making things not only more efficient in terms of cost and speed, but also profoundly change business model and how things are really done. And that's what blockchain, that's what blockchain will, will do to the world. It will change how things are done, it will change how in the, in the case for Pillar, for example, how data is owned and exchanged and consumed, it will change how capital markets are operating, it will change how education is being distributed and done and shared, and it will have an impact across society. And really going from a world of, that is really centralized today in every corner of our society to a world that is totally decentralized where we are not only actors, but we are a power of one, and the collective really becomes the world. Um, that's what blockchain will do, decentralized ledger technology, specifically blockchain. Um, and that's what both Pillar and 2030 are committed to.